Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new BMW 5 Series Tourer and I will make a review for you as always interior exterior. I try to go in every single detail. So um, yeah, stay with me until the end of the video if you want to see all the detail of this new BMW 5 Series Tourer. Uh, in the beginning I have to tell you that this car right here come with a 2 liter diesel engine 190 horsepower but all, all about the technical detail in just a moment so we will go inside if you're new here by the way click the subscribe button if you want to see the newest this car that come on the market and yeah until then guys let's go inside the car and let me show you the technical details before I start uh, the, the review and we start the exterior I want to give you the technical details so you can make an idea uh, which model we have right here so uh, this this as I said before it comes with a 2 liter um, 119 horsepower 400 Newton meters also uh, it's a diesel engine it has 2187 kilograms also here you can read all the options that come with the car so you can see it uh, right there you can pause the video and read it the final price will be around 79,700 um, francs but usually the car has the car price it's around 90,000 uh, francs this will mean uh, around 95 or something like that $95,000 but you have a discount guys 11,000 you have discount but only here in Switzerland if you come at Autofecare they are in uh, Zugville here around Solothurn I will leave the link in the description if you want to check them out uh, going forward here you can see also a few information the consumption of the car because it's a diesel it has a very good consumption for the size of the car uh, around 6.1 liter 100 58 co2 grams also a great consumption in my opinion for for uh, a great co2 emission for for uh, such a big car now let me go inside and show you something let me close the door and i want to show you something before we go forward because i maybe forget in the end i always forget to show you um this i have to tell you that the car come with a 360 degrees camera so if you if you go in reverse for example if you put the car in reverse and you go in reverse you will see uh, you will see everything in the back there it's so so easy to go in reverse guys so you can see how easy it is to park this car even if it's a big big car you can park it very easy because it has this 360 degrees cameras and it's just in my opinion it's just amazing it show you also the lines so you can see the lines right there you can see very very easy um, what it's around the car and also um, yeah the lines on the ground it show you the lines it show you almost everything there now also from here of course you can change the different style you can see the the meters how many meters are behind you you can see these green dots right here for the sensors like uh, the car come with sensors of course then you can change the contrast and different information right here I don't want to go into detail I will show you a little bit later all those stuff but uh, for the beginning I just want to show you that you are able to see even 360 degrees your car so check this out how cool is that you can see what it's around the car super simple just by pressing those buttons so how cool is that this is one of the best system in my opinion on the market today today so amazing yeah and from here you can also uh, choice to see if you have a, a trailer in the back and also you can see from the front you have different option parking and 360 degrees that's kind of my my favorite uh, view all right guys um yeah let me close the engine and let me go outside and let's continuing with the exterior design of the car so as always before we go outside let me turn on the lights i want to show you the lights from the beginning also the turning signals and put the contact once all right just like that guys let me go outside first of all 
I want to tell you that the car comes with the latest technology, full LED light, laser LED light. Uh, so it's one of the best uh, on the market and also the best technology that BMW implement until today. And this new 5 Series, it has it. And also if you see here on the mirrors, it comes with LED light. So everywhere. I don't think it's a bulb light on this car. Here's the camera, as I said before, I show you 360 degrees camera right here under the mirror. And then also the mirrors come with blind spot technology. You can see it right there in the corner uh, of the mirror, big mirrors, good visibility. Also, I like the glossy plastic in the interior there. Uh, that's, that's really nice. And also BMW use a lot of glossy plastic, even around the, the windows here, you can see. It comes with glossy plastic around the windows, tinted windows in the back. So the car looks super, super nice with those tinted windows, in my opinion. So I'll let you check this out. Very nice. I think, I think it fits really well. This glossy plastic, it fits with everything. Even up here on the roof, if you see clearly, they add this glossy plastic on these um, hooks here. The radio antenna look very nice in a very, very nice uh, way. I mean, it's very aerodynamic and it's very beautiful design. The roof spoiler here, it's super small and simple. And this is help a lot of uh, aerodynamic of the car. Usually the sport car have a big one like that. But this one, they try to make it as small as possible, as aerodynamic as possible. And also, of course, glossy plastic around here. Uh, that fit pretty pretty well with the car. Here is the uh, brake light, LED brake light, but yeah, I like it. I like the way they designed the car and yeah, but let me finish with the light. In the back guys, you can see right here BMW signature right here, full LED light in the back, nice three-dimensional shape of the light also look super super nice. The turning signals LED light, also even the reverse light it's LED, so you can see a little bit better from here, from this uh, side, from this angle, how nice it looks. Pretty impressive. Really, really impressive. I like it. And even here from the sides, you can see the tail lights. Yeah. Even if a car come from the side, you can still see the light there in the nighttime. So it's just gorgeous. I always like BMW uh, lights and design in terms of lights. Also in the front, the same story. Uh, you have the turning signals, super nice design. You can see even the signature there, BMW laser. So you know when you see the blue here in the lights on the BMW, that means they use the laser technology. So it's one of the best. And also it comes with all that technology, like no blinding the other traffic participant and automatic dimming and stuff like that it looks in a big way anyway i think you make an idea uh the way it looks i think it looks super nice very nice design of the car uh, also in the front on the bump on the hood here it has a very long hood so the engine have a lot of space always bmw make those front part of the car and the hoods very very long also interesting shape it has a few few lines there few sharp edges and then if you go down you can see this glossy black plastic grill it's closed right now it has those clappers here you can see right now they are closed but when it's when it's hot outside and the, the engine need to be cold they will open up you can see they are closed they will open up to let the air go inside to the to the radiators and then to cool down the engine the front camera right here you can see the front camera it's right there on the grill uh, that helped that great system uh, 360 degree system then going down on the bumper very sporty bumper as always uh, it looks super super nice the car come with six parking sensors you can see the first one there second one here six parking sensors in the front here you have some air intakes i don't know if you can see it so well but it comes with air intakes and the air go here and then go out around the car so that help aerodynamic and the sportiness and the handlings and 
the downforce here also you have some air intakes then then the air go to the engine and even here i'm really impressed if you look closely there even here bmw used some clappers to close and open in the winter so now it's it's cold outside they are closed that help the engine stay warm and in the summer they will open to cool down the engine usually i expect to be only here but now i see that bmw use it also inside there so that's awesome here's the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake all that safety system are right here uh, and then other than that uh the design is it's super nice beautiful design beautiful lines i like it i really like it also up here you have a camera so uh with this camera the car can read the traffic speed limit also for lane assist uh raining sensors light sensors are right there on the windscreen so yeah uh also the car have an m logo right here because it has some elements from the m uh, it has the m pack as you see before on the price list some elements also really sporty elements added here on the side that make the car look much more sportier and not only that but even this part down here help a little bit on the uh on the handling and downforce it has also a nice design in this down part right there so let me go a little bit in the back to see the rims to see the way the car look um i like the rims very much now that we are on the rims and not only the rims but also the lines of the car look pretty spectacular in my opinion they look very very nice the car have beautiful lines beautiful shapes uh, and even if it's not an m uh, it still look plenty sporty let me close the light and then we will go forward also the turning signals i think you already see it until now so let me go forward let's go to the rims now check this out guys beautiful rims in my opinion they are m rims as i said it comes with this m packet and also the rims are m you can see here the m logo and also um, they are so big let me go back here check this out 20 inch rims uh, also here in the back as you can see there inside it comes with ventilated brake discs not not cross drilled they I think the car doesn't need, uh, I think it's more than enough in the front. You can, if you look closely in the front, it comes with ventilated brake discs, but they are much more bigger. Uh, and yeah, as you know, probably the cars brake 80% in the front and around 20% in the back. So you need a better brake discs or brakes in the front part. Now going in the back, you already see before the the lights the way it looks with lights we have the x drive here because the car come with four wheel drive and then you have 520d so you know which engine it is on the car bmw logo you have a reverse camera you have led lights on the number plate and then going forward down here the car come with six parking sensors you can see right here it start on the side some light reflectors and other than that beautiful lines beautiful design pretty spectacular some air diffuser down there that looks nice also we have some exhaust pipes right here that are real and bmw always use real exhaust pipes so that's something that i like um, it looks quite quite sporty and classy check this out two exhaust pipes on the both sides so in terms of design the car it's a magic one i always love the bmw exterior designs they make such a nice design in my opinion they make beautiful beautiful designs and yeah this bmw 5 series it's one of the the car that has that beautiful look on it and also for a family car keep in mind that this is kind of a family car it has huge space we will go inside and you will see it the design it's super spectacular so if you need a family car with an amazing design i think this bmw it's one of them 
Now, let me show you the handles. The handles are classic, so you can lock and unlock the car from here. All you have to do is just put your hand there. As you can see also, it comes with folding mirrors, electric folding mirrors. All you have to do is just have your hand here and you can open it up and close it. I will go to the engine now to show you the engine. Here you have to go two times in order to open the hood. It's one of the best hood system. You know why? Because you 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 make it two times, you pull it two times and then you don't have to search for some kind of uh, thing there. All you have to do after you pull it two times is just take your hood and put it up. Automatic lift gate of course in the front so that's why I said it's one of the best system. Uh, then check out the, the engine guys. They also add some reinforcement bars here uh, for the stiffness of the body and that's awesome and then you can see right here the BMW twin power turbo engine 2 liter diesel engine 119 horsepower amazing amazing and also the array here it's kind of classic for the new BMWs um, I like it I really really like it I like the way uh, they they fit the engines in the front always BMW leave a lot of space here in the front for the for the engine bay so Yeah, they put a lot of work in the engines and that's that's quite good now Let me go in the back guys Close the trunk and let me go in the back. Let me show you the trunk So here is pretty simple. Oh by the way guys before I go there I want to show you that even here it's automotive leaf gate even this part here on the window you can open also only the window and even this window part it is automatic so that's awesome so if you want to put your grocery here just put it there without any problem pretty awesome huge space here uh, in the trunk you will see it in the moment and it's awesome that you you have to open only this you can open only this put it there and then go forward also we have some hooks here where you can put your groceries just like that and then yeah that's all let me close it all right nice sound and then here automatic lift gate of course in the back as i told you before um, here you have the buttons to lock and close the, the trunk then you have an led light pretty cool handles of course if you want to close it manually and the entrance in the car is not big it's huge this is one of that cars that are really for families and you have such a so big space here in the back guys I mean I don't know if you can make an idea but the entrance in the car it's it's quite impressive it's impressive big I don't know how can I show you that but trust me it's it's really really big and the fact that you have a flat floor here it is really impressive so you can make an idea also it has some aluminium down here very good quality at the entrance so um, yeah check this out also I want to show you a little bit on the left in the right side and then we will talk about that also you have hooks almost everywhere you can adjust it you can put it in every position you want that's awesome you can also take it out from here if you want to if you don't need it then you can take it out without any problem then here you have this button to fold down the seats and you have also here i will show you later then you have here check this out you have a 12 volt port and then you have this button for the hook you know this button guys press this button let me show you And the hook will come out automatic check this out how cool is that you don't even have to touch it yeah I expect to come a little bit faster but I guess it's okay better than manual or it's a little bit slower but I guess it's okay yeah now that you see the car come also with the hook here in the back if you want to put it back all you have to do is just press this button and then the hook will go back it's a little bit slower than what I see on other cars but it's great that it's fully automatic so on other cars it's kind of half manual half automatic you have LED lights in the trunk that's awesome 
then hooks you already see it very good quality even here on the side i like that i like this good quality and then on the other side the same story very good quality here you have even this trunk protection that you can put it here and you have more position so you can put it the way you want it so check this out that's 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 also uh great and a great help and i know let's go under let's go under guys now here check this out even this is automatic bmw use a lot of automatic things you don't have to do too many stuff here so even here you have a small space where you can put your stuff and even this it's with that hydraulic stick and then down here you have some storage space again to put your stuff different stuff and if i'm not wrong you can stick this right there without any problem this trunk protection there and also the car come with this net if you have dogs or stuff like that you can put it on the roof and yeah it's very helpful i will not going to take this out but you can imagine how the car will look to, without them but i will fold the seats for you so look how simple it is to fold it press this button and then the seats are folding down very slowly very nice and even here the same story pretty awesome system uh, almost everything is automated and i like that even now you can see that you have a flat flat floor even with the seats folding down you have a flat floor there and the space it's phenomenal of course you can take this out i'm not going to do that right now if you want to carry big huge items you can take it out and then you can see how the car will look without them but quite quite impressive pretty impressive space let me go from the side here you have also a huge entrance you can make an idea from here from this position huge entrance in the car guys a lot of space there also you can see the space even from this position so you can see that even here you have very good quality so bmw use very very good quality materials you have plenty of space even here on the legs room so you can see from this position a lot a lot of space and also in the back pretty huge space i like it i like the way it looks i think they they this is one of the most spacious um family car in the market and not only that it's spacious but they use also a lot of great great material quality and even now let me fold this back and let me show you let me show you something here in the middle right here you have a button in the middle and you can fold down even only the middle part so if you want to carry ski parts and stuff like that you can carry without any problem so check this out no problem flat floor you still have two passengers there in the back and in the same time you can carry uh, big items let me close this trunk let me go inside let me continuing in the back guys nice pretty fast it was closed pretty fast i like that of course you have here uh, adjustment headrest leather leather seats amazing quality uh, and also here on the side usually here the cars use plastic but bmw come with leather and soft material this is extra comfort for the passengers in the back but before we go there let me go on the doors here you have kind of big windows made from two parts you can fold this window all the way down that's that's awesome the design of the doors are beautiful in my opinion they look super nice you have leather great quality on the doors on the upper side then you have some ambient light in the door here you have uh, led ambient light i don't know if you can see it so well then you have some kind of a nice chrome matte design here the handle look nice in chrome then even the speaker look how cool and fancy are the speakers i think uh yeah i'm sure right now harmon cardon speakers uh, on this car and guys the quality of the music of the sound it's amazing uh, with those speakers so they are also look nice i like that the color is different you know it's kind of a nice uh, goldish chrome design i don't know how to call it but pretty nice design also leather and everywhere 
fantastic quality here on the doors the button for electric windows even here they add some leather on the handle plenty of storage space overall the quality of the doors it's high class bmw at the entrance here in the back it's for the first time when some car company added in the back so fancy i mean in those kind of price and classes uh it looks super nice and you have the m logo right there so as i said the car come with the m package of course not the real one but yeah it's still nice to have it leather seats in the back guys here you can see the seats very nice design and very comfortable and the quality it's really good as always you can see the stitches you can see the lines here the shape of the of the seats it's awesome you can install two child seats here in the back you have isofix also very nice position here even in the middle we will go now and we will see how much space you have there even here guys you have these two cup holders right here let me show you just like that you have two cup holders right here pretty helpful and then you have also uh, this leather here so in terms of quality it's very very nice uh, and also very practical now before we go inside here you have some storage space then you have some plastic behind the front seat and then let me go inside pretty easy going inside here oh and the, the comfort is really good on those seats uh, here in the middle you have two vents very good quality when you touch it also some storage space small storage space huge storage space here you can see i put my hand there for your phone you can put it right there then you have two usb-c ports down here that's very helpful you can see it and then a 12 volt port in terms of connectivity it's it's perfect it's perfect here you have a tunnel center tunnel a little bit bigger for the uh, transmission and then you have here the armrest some hooks pretty cool and then in the middle you have led light right here in order to show you this led light i have to put the contact but yeah it's led and it looks nice it's a glossy plastic it looks really good let me close the door i like also the doors quality classic for bmw super nice quality now check this out guys check the space out on my knees plenty of space on my knees yeah i have a lot of space as expected also in the front you can see the seats are kind of adjusted in normal position it's a little bit more in the back than in my driving position that's something to keep in mind usually i put it more in the front and this one it's way way much in the back now that you see there the space space on my head plenty of space on my head uh, more than enough and also the visibility on the windows it is very good also there in the back you have a big window even here big windows the quality uh, and the visibility is quite good and also the quality of the seats are amazing i have to tell you the shape of the seats are the best really really good uh, in terms of shape then let me go in the fr in the middle a little bit complicated but once you're here you have a very good position here in the middle because of the shape of the seats uh, bmw step up the game also huge space on my head left side stretch my hand and in the left side right side the same story uh, plenty of space for free people here and i think bmw they work a lot of those seats they make this nice shape in the middle even for the middle passengers to be comfortable here and i think you can stay free people here without any problem now plenty of space here as i said three fingers because this it's it's way way too much in the back usually should be in the front but guys for a tourer five series don't expect to don't have space on your legs so let me go on the side now and let me show you the shape of the seats i think you already see it you see the shape it's quite interesting down here and that makes um, the sitting in the middle a little bit more comfortable i like that i like also the stitches very good quality we will go in the front of course now and i will show you the rest of the car the dashboard the multimedia system we see there uh, the cockpit and also we will talk about the materials so let me go in the front guys all right guys so in the front 
also here you have a big window so the visibility is quite good then going on the doors the quality is also fantastic here you can see the leather the stitches look super super nice and also down here on the armrest it looks great the quality it's almost everywhere perfect all over here on the on the first half of the door the quality it's amazing also you have this ambient light right here in the door i will try to show you a little bit later then you have chrome design kind of a chrome matte design the same handles extra here you have the lock and unlock button for the doors some chrome design even here very nice design it uh, and then you have the harmon cardon speakers a little bit upper here on the pillar then you have the saving position for electric seats here integrated then even the handle the same as in the back nice nice quality then you have the buttons electric buttons for the windows and for the mirrors you can adjust the mirror electrically there and going a little bit down Harman Kardon speaker again here in the front nice design different design than in the back quite nice storage space great storage space a lot of storage space and even down here guys they use soft material so keep in mind that here is not plastic it's a soft nice material so i think you can see it it's quite quite nice very good quality on the doors here you have the button to open the the trunk in the back overall the the design and the quality of the doors in the front are perfect i mean not many cars have soft material on this part right here so awesome the m logo again at the entrance you have aluminium pedals the same as on the m models quite awesome good quality then you have electric adjustable seats very nice you can see even the buttons they look super super nice even the front part there you can adjust it from here front and back and that's super super impressive quite nice and also you can see that the seats are quite quite responsive check this out even this part there and even the lumbar part and you can adjust in every single position that you want from here so from this point of view it's awesome the design of the seats are also very very nice and also they are very wide and comfortable you can see the stitches uh, you can see uh, the shape of the seats and even that they have side support there and here and they are quite quite comfortable they are wide enough to have a great comfort even on the long trip so in terms of the seats very good quality so bmw make amazing job uh i as i expected now here something that i like very much those are new and they look super nice these controllers for the lights so from here you can turn on the lights then you have the vent here very nice integrated with a little bit of glossy plastic around it then some chrome design and then we have on the uh dashboard leather great great quality leather all over the dashboard you have leather and very very good quality on the dashboard as well overall the design of the dashboard the shapes are super nice simple and nice i like it now let me go inside guys uh, going inside here you can see the layout of the dashboard from this position you can see how nice they integrate the doors with the dashboard it's very well integrated going on the right side there the same story very nice integrated i like the way they integrate the dash with the doors visibility on the windows it's super good check this out guys super good visibility you have big windows in the back so you have a very good visibility there also you can see the seat and then going here in the middle soft material on the armrest here leather again open it up from here pretty nice then you have an LED light down here you have an USB-C port huge space down here um, it's not huge but it's big enough to put your stuff and it's also fancy it looks quite fancy i like the fact that bmw use even down even here on the side on the center console it's very solid and it uses this leather with the stitches so the quality it is there it is here it is very good now glossy plastic here in the middle i like it i always like this glossy plastic even many people complain about it i like it electronic handbrake on the bmw auto hold on the bmw 
awesome i like that to see that system this button is for the cameras uh, you will see it in the moment it show you that 360 degrees camera and then here you have the parking sensors button um, you can see it close up a little bit better then you have the different driving modes sport comfort and eco pro so you can choose the, depend on in which mode you are uh, the car will respond a little bit uh, slower to acceleration or uh, higher or depend on this even the suspension and the steering wheel will be different traction control button you can turn it on and off from here then you have the controllers for the multimedia system right here it's classic for bmw i think you already know it if you want to see the the full review with multimedia system from bmw the latest latest one check out on my channel uh, also here the same nice kind of a chrome matte design and here you can open this up and then here guys you have two cup holders and usb port you can charge your phone wireless there and you have two cup holders and the 12 volt port right here so how cool is that i like it i like it i like it i like it nice good let's go to the glow box you have chrome design down here also even down here you have soft material open this glow box and you can see there the space quite big space you have a nice light normal bulb light yellow light but it's quite big i mean the glow box it's it's big it's big i like it now let me go forward the same story on the dashboard here the same chrome matte design and some chrome glossy design and here you have glossy plastic integrated all those uh, for example the start engine button there then you have the vents integrated here you have then the blinker button and this button for the uh, this intelligent safety systems and yeah and then going forward you have the multimedia system the different modes here um, and the button kind of a classic for bmw and then going down here you have the climatic system let me turn on the engine guys to show you that by the way before we go forward here in the back of the steering wheel you have a little stick where you can adjust the steering wheel manually the way you want it up down left right and not only that guys but when you use this saving position for the seats here even the steering wheel it saved the position so it will go in your position your driving position directly there when you are going inside the car or outside the car so anyway that's something to keep in mind that the, the, the steering will come with electric adjustments now head up display check it out the car come with a head-up display right there and it's one of the best on the market bmw bring it they were one of the first to bring such an amazing head-up display and then you have all the information right there on the head-up display uh the speed the speed limit signs and also the navigation and yeah different uh stuff now going forward guys to the uh multimedia i was here to the climatic system by the way here it's very simple to adjust it you have dual zone climatic system uh it looks super nice i like the buttons they are glossy plastic super nice buttons also you have the the different heated seats ventilated seats on a bmw so uh yeah this is amazing to have ventilated seats in the summer that way it has these little holes on the seats here so it will ventilate your back your your ass in the summer so it will be not sweat you know this is very helpful when it's very hot outside then you have uh, heated seats of course as i said before and the other controllers are kind of classic you know it already and also overall the quality of the climatic system it's quite good quite nice nothing to say about it i like it then here as you see before different controllers guys uh, for the multimedia system and yeah overall you can use it also the controllers from here so you can control that multimedia system from this wheel here you have the shortcut button media menu map navigation here you have the options here button so you can control it even from down here and yeah overall it's one of the best uh, multimedia system on the market you have a huge screen here so you have an amazing visibility from the driver point of view you can see that the visibility it is perfect 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 nothing to say in terms of visibility and also 
um, you can see for yourself uh, that they they turn a little bit the screen to the driver so this way you can see a little bit better everything there while you're driving so I like that very much so yeah let me turn this off and let me go forward as I said this button here is for intelligent safety and you can configure it and you can change different settings here on the car for example the uh, an emergency brake and then here you have this blind spot technology and then you have all kind of safety technologies from here and you can you can really easy access it only from pressing this button right here so that's something to keep in mind guys if you don't know what is this button now you can use also of course the touch screen but oh, the touch screen you can see you can use your your screen has a touch screen and it's super responsive it uses an amazing processor behind it so the graphics the processor the software um, everything it's it's awesome on the bmw as i said one of the best and also it's very simply while you're driving to control everything from down here so you can control everything you can go in every single settings from here so you don't have to always use the touch screen um, the car come also with spotify by the way guys so you can use spotify and you can go in different menus from here bluetooth um, yeah it's it's like this like the latest i don't want to go too much into detail i have a full review with this multimedia system from bmw so check it out on my channel if you want to see it here you have the application from bmw you can connect android auto apple carplay of course you can use this latest technology so in terms of technology it's oh, it's it's just perfect you don't have to worry about that uh, here you can have driving information information about the consumption in the last kilometers then you go forward you have also here some sporty information like downforce newton meter kilowatt hour power that the car use energy flow here you can see even the energy flow because the car come with the hybrid uh, battery it has 48 volts battery that help the system to consume a little bit less energy and um, that's awesome i mean it helps the car when it's rolling or sometimes when it's um, when it's starting so that that's great for the consumption and also for the uh, emission so just something to keep in mind that it has a milled um, system milled hybrid system with a 48 volt battery then you have the settings here you can change the different settings to the lights and to driving um, yeah here you already see it before here you can change the different um, driving safety settings the lights the driving mode here you can change the driving mode as i said sport eco individual you can customize the way you want it i don't want to go too much into details here you have the settings overall settings so you can change even the language here so for example if you want to have it in english you can change it very simple it's changed fast date and time personal assist here you have the units you can change the kilometer miles and all that units the way you want it the sound here even on the sound you can go and change the different settings gesture control and then touchpad driving attention cameras you can turn it on pop-ups here you have all kind of trailer mode speed warning um, yeah so so complex this system it's amazingly complex you have so many menus here driving mode you see exterior light here you see already yeah i will i will do a full review and i i already have a full review on my channel with this new multimedia system from bmw so check it out on my channel if you are interested in all those um information and settings and i don't want to make this video too long experience mode here then you have carrying car driving profiles owner manual so you can read the manual if you want to and vehicle status you already see that tire pressure engine oil level check control messages and if you have errors you will see it right here um yeah anyway add blue and all that stuff good now guys the the navigation you already see it i think the comb here it's where you can can um uh, link your mobile phone so you can use it 
on the on the car and then the media you already see it radio spotify and all that stuff bluetooth and yeah the navigation you can make it all on all screen it's a very responsive navigation so as i said before it's in my opinion it's one of the best navigation you have a 3d map there and it's just great it's great so you can see you can choice destination start route guidance you can go at you they will get you directly there in no time so yeah you can find alternative routes and stuff like that but overall you can see how fast it's loading and it gets you directly there in just a few seconds so from this point of view um, it is it is awesome now when you set the destination on the navigation you can see it also on the head-up display i think you can see it there you can see it on the head-up display guys and that's awesome you have all the information there you have kind of a full map and not only there but you can see it also on the cockpit down here so you can see on the cockpit the map right there in the middle so it gives you all that information so uh, it's quite awesome also when you change the different driving mode you can see that even the the cockpit color will change you can see you make it echo echo pro you it make it blue you have comfort here kind of a orange and in sport kind of a red so from this point of view it's quite quite awesome and also when you accelerate you can see that you can see that line right there how cool it's going anyway super super nice also you see the speed limit there on the cockpit the cockpit is one of the best as well great colors great resolution great display there so um yeah pretty pretty awesome now let's go to the steering wheel i just forget to show you the steering wheel guys the steering wheel it's beautiful uh not only that it's beautiful but it's the m1 so you can see the m logo right there you have the controllers here where you can control different function uh, lane assist different driving modes for example uh, you can activate and deactivate that it will show you also there on the screen when you activate different options then yeah you can change from here the adaptive cruise control the limit and all that stuff you can set it up set it out then on the right side you have controllers for the multimedia system the sound the speaker and all that stuff look look at the, the the steering wheel here in the middle you can see that they use leather even here in the middle so the quality it is amazing i mean it's very good quality the shape of the steering wheel it's awesome you have a great great grip um, and yeah it's just perfect perfect you have the pedals to change the gear manually if you want to and other than that um, yeah it's classic i think i show you almost everything we will go to the mirror here you have a good visibility also on the mirror guys huge mirror so the visibility is great in the back then up here i think you can see it now yes you have an sos button and also you have those led lights here you have two position of led lights so you have the big one or you have the small one and you can choose when you need more light or less light so that's cool and also the shape of the light it's super impressive yeah overall it's cool here you have a mirror led light a huge mirror i like it it's one of the best mirror design and the best led light here also microphone up good quality on the roof as well you have a handle even a handle up here and overall the quality inside the car it is very good um, as i said before i like the layout i like almost everything in the car and also check this out right now the navigation it's all over the the multimedia screen so look how cool it looks like it's just phenomenal i mean the visibility is just perfect great visibility huge huge screen there now guys i think i'm finished with the review um with the new bmw 5 series tourer i hope you enjoy it guys if you have questions just ask me anything you want i will answer with pleasure also if you want to see uh the other new cars just subscribe to my channel if you like the music in the video uh, you can see the link in the description thank you very much for watching my videos guys it means a lot for me and also i guess i see you soon in the next one stay safe and bye guys